Hey guys, at BV Matson here. Let's install the Speedo cable. So let's do this. This should be pretty straightforward. For those of you who have been following the channel, you may remember that uh, I actually had to grind. Uh, don't tell my dentist, I just used my teeth to open this. Um, I had to grind and, and really work hard to uh, get this uh, screw out of here, this retainer for the speedometer. So before I go and install it, I'm gonna go ahead and put some Permatex anti-seize lubricant onto this screw. So hopefully in the future, if anybody ever needs to get back in here, they're not gonna have to battle that. So very straightforward, grab this end of your cable. And again, just like on the tackle cable, you're gonna look for your slot. And inside here, there's gonna be a slot as well. So let me give you a closer look at that. And there's that slot right there on the hub. And we're just basically gonna align that with the slot in this cable. Pretty straightforward. Um, kind of standard on my head right now. And I'm operating left-handed. Here, let's see if I can switch it up. All right. <laughs> I think this is gonna be impossible, guys, to do one-handed. I gotta go back to the tripod, sorry. But guys, just line up the slot and push the thing home so it's nice and flush. All right, so again, if you can't see it, you just gotta push the end so you can expose it on this end. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna insert the slot, get the slot in place, and then push this on till it's flush, just like that. I'm gonna grab this bolt and position it. Ah, oh my God. My hands are so sweaty today. It is so hot. I'm gonna get up over here, grab my JIS screwdriver. Again, guys, these JISs are gonna save you a ton. Go in here, just like this, and put this bad boy home. I actually had to just order a replacement screw for this. I got an original Honda part, so shouldn't be a problem. But again, using the JIS screwdriver, absolutely key. We got plenty of anti-seize on that. That's tied in and that is ready to go. Again, next, I'm just gonna pivot over here, just like that. Go to the end of our cable and feed this up and through, just like that. All right, so we got both those cables coming out of there. Boy, doesn't that look classy. And then we're gonna position this one up inside, inside. Okay, I gotta give you guys a look at this. All right, so here we are, we're coming up and around. This one's gonna come up in front of the triple tree and go straight up, <laughs> straight up. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, trying to do this stuff one-handed is just insane. And then we're just gonna install this. Hopefully it wants to go and play nice. Position this in here. Where the hell did that retainer go? Oh, my retainer slid all the way down here, so watch that. But anyway, we gotta get this installed right here on the hub of the uh, speedometer cable. All right, we're just gonna kind of jiggle with it a little bit. There it goes, it slid right in. Go down, find my retainer, push this back up. Get hung up on some wiring, so be careful with that. Don't wanna mess anything up. We got the wiring pretty much done on this. Get it nice and straight. And again, you don't wanna cross thread it. These should go on relatively easy. Don't wanna cross thread this stuff. And that is gonna seat right in there. I'm gonna hop over, I'm gonna grab my vice grips. Ideally, you'd probably wanna put a little cloth in here, but you know, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna muck it up a little bit. Nah, it's not too bad. Give that a nice firm turn. Ah, drop your wrench, that is required as well. And that is how that Speedo cable is going to go into play. So let's take one last look at what we did. I think the biggest thing to remember, honestly, is use the anti-seize on that screw. Move it up through your connector there. And then actually I might swap these two in position. I don't know if it really freaking matters. 
it probably doesn't really matter. But these both are nice and loose in here. Um, that, that thing is holding just fine. Move it up towards the front of the triple tree. Okay, come up through the front. And there are no metal clasps on this one that are holding this thing into position on a 70 or an older one. Sometimes there's like a little tab on your, on your ear um, to be able to do that. And then right up, straight up, don't nick any wiring and go ahead and put that into your Speedo cable. So there you go, guys. We are knocking things off the list today for sure on the 1972 CL350. If you guys enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel. It means so much when I see that happening. Also, thumbs up those videos that you enjoy. And also, if you'd like to support the channel, be sure to check out the description for a whole variety of different products that you might need to help you along the way on your project. It'll support the channel. It'll keep these projects going on, and I'll be most thankful. All right, what's next, guys? What's next on this darn thing? I think it's time to start filling this thing with oil. Let's do it in the next video. All right, guys, thanks so much, and we'll see you in the next one.